Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. The title of this is A Prepared Place. These words he said to his disciples apply to us also. And isn't that marvelous that the Lord Jesus Christ, the great son of God, would go and prepare a place just for you and I. We have seen the places that man has prepared. We would agree that man has prepared some pretty nice places. Um, You have Paris, which is rated number one in world's best places to visit. Uh, London, London comes in at number five. Dubai is rated number nine. And New York City is rated number 10. There's this show on Netflix titled The World's Most Extraordinary Homes, and they really are some extraordinary homes in interesting places. Uh, You should watch that in your spare time. Now, if man prepares great things, then we must believe that Jesus, who is the creator of all things, shall prepare greater things for you and I. And so I must say that nothing here on earth, absolutely nothing can compare to even the very least of what heaven has for us. You can think of the greatest place here on earth and not even that can measure up to the least of heaven. And this place, heaven, just Jesus has prepared for us with all the wrong we have done. He still prepared this place for us. Um, Despite all our mistakes and shortcomings, he prepared this place for us. Even though we struggle and disobey him at times he still prepared this place for you and I That's right. even though we mess up he still play, prepared this place for us and so I'm glad that getting to this prepared place is not dependent on my works and it's not dependent on your works but it is dependent on the finished works of Jesus Christ right. he prepared a place for us and then he paid the cost for us to get in A purchase he made, not with money, but with his precious blood. Absolutely amazing, amazing grace that is. Let this motivate us to dedicate our lives to Jesus and live more for him in the year 2019 and for the rest of our lives. Let us thank God for his son, Jesus, for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he will do. God bless.